Welcome to Strength for Today's Man. This is volume 35. And as you can see, we are back outside in the backyard. For those of you in the video, it is a clear, crisp, chilly day, but it is great to be back in the backyard sharing. This is a good day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Let's get in this. Thank you guys for liking the podcast, for sharing the podcast, for subscribing to the podcast, and also hitting that notification bell so you can be notified when we do upload a brand new video. Let's go to Matthew 9, 37 and 38. This is Jesus talking. He says, then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest. I think I'm going to entitle this, Where Are the Workers? It's amazing because in the face of, of the great need for workers. In this particular scripture, Jesus didn't mount a marketing campaign. He didn't craft some elevator pitch or he didn't hire a consultant. Instead, what he did, he said that we should ask the Lord of the harvest. Many of us, we would just and I've done this myself whenever I wanted to advertise for recruits, for uh, business dealings of whatever kind that I'm selling products. You know, we go out and we look for ads. We look for campaigns to run. We look to send out mass emails. We send out mass text messages now. We do whatever it takes to find people to join our team as it were to join our group and here this right here what jesus was doing goes against our instinct for the most part because in the face of great need it makes sense to send out all those emails it makes sense to send out all those text messages it makes sense to send out all those flyers make a bunch of phone calls saying please Please join my team. Please join my group. Please, please, please. But Jesus says that we should pray for workers as a first step because God is the Lord of the harvest. Now, we're talking far as going out and witnessing and going out and talking about the word of God. But you can use this in reference of building a business with God's backing. I know that's a stretch, but hear me out. It's because God is in control. Jesus is inviting his followers here in this particular scripture to acknowledge that prayer is the first and most important step. That is the most important step even in the secular realm of our life. Whatever you do, go to God in prayer first. Your business plan, seek God. You have plans to run a business, run an organization, even running your ministry. Whatever it is, the most important thing that you need to do first is pray and seek God. Not a consultant, not an ad marketing campaign manager, but seek God first. First, that is the most important thing he is saying to us in this word. But here, even as the world is filled with overwhelming needs, and we see this every day. Look what's happening here in California with the snow. I mean, I mean, we've been really bombarded like the East Coast. Now we actually know what the East Coast feels like. And those in the Midwest, you know, that's dealing with all those snow blizzards and things like that. We're finally realizing what you guys are going through because we're getting pounded in certain parts of California. And so even in that, there is an overwhelming need. 
And this, of course, doesn't mean that the actions of evangelism, service, social justice aren't important because they are important. They're very vital. It just means that the priority is to ask the Lord of the harvest to provide for the need. There's nothing wrong with that. God, send us what we need. Send us who we need. Send us the right people. There's nothing wrong with asking God to send the right people to help in a time of need. And that's what we need. We need help. Today we need help. We need more help than we ever needed in this particular season of our life. We need help. And I'm talking about a personal help because of the things that we deal with on a daily basis. The emotional stress that we go through. The mental anguish that we go through. The loneliness that we go through. And yes, men get lonely. I understand, men, we get lonely sometimes. We can be in a crowded room and just lonely. We need help in that area. We need help in our finances. We need help in our relationships. We need help with our children. We need help. And there's nothing wrong in asking for help. We need to set our pride aside and say, hey, you know, I need help. I need to find somebody. I need to seek. But we need to pray first. God, you are the Lord of the harvest. Send workers my way. Send workers to these foreign places. If you're not the one, ask God to send the right people to go out and help. Send them not only the foreign countries, but we need them right here in our land, right? Domestically, we need help. And I know that God is a God of love. He's a God of compassion. There's so many things we need to understand about his will and you know, different wills that he has. And one is the permissive will. There's a lot of things in his permissive will that he allows. And we have to understand that God is in control and we can't do anything about it. We just pray. We trust God. We believe that everything is going to be all right. Look, and I'm going to close with this today. Father, I acknowledge that you are the Lord of the harvest. Send workers to address the needs around the world and in my city. Most important part of today's message is praying and asking God to send workers to the places that need help. We need to pray first. We need to seek God. And I know that God is going to be the one to help in the time of need. Man will let you down. But thank God, he's going to always be there to send you what you need. Where are the workers? Pray and ask God for them. This is Strength for Today's Man. This is volume 35. I'm Malachi Mitchell. You guys go out, make it a great day. Enjoy your day to the best of your ability. And I'll definitely meet you right back here on the next podcast. You guys be blessed.